And so we didn't quite get the bounce back week we were hoping for. Uh, and I do also want to comment on the NAR lawsuit that I'm sure you've been hearing about. Hey, so welcome to this week's Mortgage Minutes with Mitch. I am Mitch Jenkins, Senior Loan Officer with Your Home Financial. So we didn't have any major big mover headlines this week, but we did have some comments from the head of a Federal Reserve Board that really shook things up. So we, we had a little momentum earlier this week. We we're starting to recover a little bit of what the hit we took last week. But then the Fed President, John Williams, no, not the beloved composer, some of the most epic scores in cinematic history. I'm talking about John Williams, the head of the New York Federal Reserve. He's the president there. And he came out this week and made a comment that a lot of people didn't like and it really upset the bond market. So he said that rate hikes are not off the table. So, you know, earlier this year, there was kind of a sense of calm. So when we missed the uh, inflation numbers and maybe had a strong jobs report, the market didn't really overreact. It felt like there was a calm that had taken over because even though rates weren't dropping like we expected last year, the, the hope was that they would this year. Well, after a few months of consecutive, you know, missing the mark with the inflation numbers and some really strong retail numbers, as well as supposed job gains, um, we're starting to see the we might not see a rate drop or a rate cut as soon as we hoped. And then for him to go and put back on the table rate hikes, uh, that was not very good. So any momentum we had was killed and uh, we kind of headed into the weekend a little bit higher than we were even last week in the way of mortgage rates. So everyone's going to be on pins and needles for the next inflation report. I'll bring it to you, let you know how the market reacts to that. So on to the NAR lawsuit. Now, I'm going to try and condense this in a very short amount of time, but basically buyers, agents get paid by the seller. So when you sell your home, there's a commission built in there that pays you the listing agent as well as the buyer's agent that brought you the buyer. Now, the Department of Justice stepped in with this lawsuit, felt that there was some collusion going on, the buyers weren't properly represented or aware of these commissions, so um, they were going to make it so that you could not post this commission anywhere. And this, the worry was that buyers are going to have to pay their agent out of their own pocket. Now, it's hard enough to come up with the out of pocket for the down payment, the closing costs, and everything else that comes with buying a home. So then to put that burden on the buyer to also pay their agent, that was a tough sell. Now, it looks like, according to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, that they're going to probably allow the seller to continue to pay this. Um, and the reason it was an issue now when you buy a home, you're allowed to ask the seller to help pay some of the closing costs, but there's caps, there's a percentage depending on the program, um, and you're only allowed to pay a certain amount. So if, if we had to eat that amount with the buyer's agent's commissions, that was gonna be tough too, because now the buyer's really losing out and they're not able to you know, alleviate that out-of-pocket expense. So it looks like if the seller pays the buyer's agent's commission, it's not gonna count towards that allowable contribution that the seller can get, I'm sorry, the buyer can get from the seller. So I know it's confusing, bear with me. Um, but long story short, it looks like the uh, the amount that the seller can pay towards the buyer's agent's commission is going to be independent of what they can pay towards the buyer's closing costs. So that's great news. And hopefully, once the dust settles, we'll just kind of continue on as normal. And this isn't going to disrupt the industry like a lot of people were worried. So more to come. I'll obviously keep you up to date on that. Uh, let me know how I can help. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.